Let's do this, shall we? So two years and eight months ago was the very last time that I talked to myself. And I feel it very much appropriate right now in my life to um, keep up this conversation with myself. Christian, 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 Christian. You call yourself Christian now. Um, you don't call yourself Chris anymore just because you felt like Chris was very weird. Christian was just like this big stepping stone to becoming a man. <laughs> you have gone through so stinking much. I have worked the same job for two years and eight months. And in working in the same job, you've been able to make so many relationships and so many conversations have been made with multiple people that have honestly changed your life. I have learned so much about who I am as a person and where I'm taking my life right now. And it is this just big blown up thing that I was not prepared for at all. You see, life after school is literally the scariest thing to ever happen to me. The real world is really big and really scary and really lonely. And um, I can admit that I've reached some low points. Um, and those low points have definitely helped me and shaped me a lot more. Uh, I wasn't ready. I definitely wasn't ready. And, um, and a lot of who I was um, isn't here anymore. And I think that's just how life works. You grow up and you get older and you experience new things and you experience heartaches and triumphs and jubilee and tribulations and I'm grateful for each and every moment that I've been able to experience because without it I wouldn't be here today and I think a lot of it is just really um, me having faith and ha having so much hope and um, even in like the darkest moments that I reached, I just would pray and make sure to hold on to every dang drop of hope that I had in me. Nothing in my lifetime was compared to what you experienced this past month. Uh, this past month was an absolute... <sighs> That's really the best way I can describe it because it was the biggest funk that I have ever experienced in my lifetime. And I... I definitely could admit that, like, I've never gone so, like, low, you know? Uh, and it's, like, the worst feeling ever. There's nothing worse than uh, feeling like a failure and uh, feeling like you've let every everyone down. Um, And, uh, feeling so alone, um, it, uh, it sucks. It really does suck. And, um, thank God I am out of it. This past week has been a complete 180 of who I was becoming. And I'm glad that I, like, saw what was wrong and I just... I just turned myself over to God and I was just like, I'm not letting this happen to me. And um, I'm glad to say that 
that feeling has been gone. Like it's been going away. I know my worth. Uh, and I know I w I'm not this floating body that I thought I was. And um, I know I'm worth so much more than that. And finally realizing that has helped me to become this grateful person and someone with a bright future and someone that's looking forward to life and every little thing and every little ounce of life that's going to be thrown at me or given to me or whatever I am receiving it. Because at the end of the day, I know that I am Christian Arevalo and I'll never be left alone and I have my whole life ahead of me. This past week has been this big like rebirthing of who I am and finding out these new things and finding myself in new positions that I never thought I was ever going to be in but like it's helped me out so much just being able to like feel what I like feel you know and not holding back or bottling in those emotions and just like um, living every second the way it's supposed to uh, there's this song uh, that says with every broken bone um, I lived and that's how I'm trying to live my life you know like yes crap is gonna happen and I'm probably gonna be hit even harder than I was right now but at least I am ready for it and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna make sure <laughs> that like I just live my life, you know? I can't let myself be determined by the situations that are thrown at me. I bought a calendar and one of the things that says on the calendar is be happy and be hopeful and um, I know I have made for so much more <laughs> taking life by the horns and as, che as cheesy as that sounds I just like I want to use that because it's exactly what I'm trying to do I'm just like living I'm just living the life of Christian and there's nothing more exciting than realizing that you have a full life ahead of you things are happening and uh, I'm just excited. I'm just excited for life, you know?